What's good, A1 gang? And shout out to everybody that's new to the channel, man. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, man. We got some big news, as y'all can see from the title. For y'all that know, y'all know. This is a big deal. Tesla was just added to the S&P 500. A lot of us traders, day traders, or options traders, we've been waiting for Tesla to be added to the S&P 500 for a long time now. I'm sure a lot of people lost money like I did the first time around when we expected it to be added. And it's finally here, man. So I finished off today. I had a call option, uh, a 430 call option on Tesla. I bought this Friday with the expectations of it to go up Monday because uh, Tesla was hovering around, well, basically trading around its low support for like about a week or two, I think, around like that that low 400s uh, mark. So I'm like, I don't think it's going lower than there. So I jumped in with a call option, betting that the price would go up. Now, it didn't immediately go up like I expected to because normally Mondays are a green day. It kind of traded sideways. So I, I today, I this kind of bounced around. This ended last week, Friday. I bought it two hours before market closed, maybe two to three hours. I was up $80 at the end of market close Friday. I, well, today when I got up, I woke up. Uh, I probably woke up about like 20, 30 minutes late. And I was down about 170 or 100, between 120 and $170. So somewhere between there. So I rolled it out for a minute. Then it started to turn around. And I think I went all the way up about 120. But I thought it was going to keep going. So, you know, I'm like, you know what? Let me not sell prematurely. Let me just hold out. And me holding, it ended up shooting back down for the day. So I ended off at the end of the day, as you can see, down $102. But as you see, it lost total $182. This is because the original $80 that I had. So this call option expires December 18th. I was betting that it would go over 430. And for y'all that know, Oh, and my delta, this is how much I make per dollar that the price rises. So this means $41. The theta, this is how much money I lose per day from holding this. So for y'all that know, it shot up 53. Well, for y'all that don't know, it shot up $53, which is crazy right now. A lot of people, this just made a lot of people rich right now. I'm sure of it. So with it going up $53, as you can see, I already got the math worked out here. So $53 times $41. I'll be I'll be making around $2,000. This is not 100% accurate because you know you got to take away some money from what I'm already uh from me being already already down and then a little bit of theta decay for tomorrow. But I'm expecting it to gap up a little bit more tomorrow, maybe about at least five to ten more dollars because I'm expecting a lot of traders, uh, retail traders that didn't get the news uh, until after market closed. I'm expecting them to jump in tomorrow. Now, I'm I'm not sure. I'm trying to debate if I think people will start taking profit, which I definitely think a lot of people are going to take profit tomorrow. But with it being added to the S&P 500, I'm wondering will that prevent it from dropping too low? Now, the reason I'm thinking about that is because I'm trying to decide where I want to sell it. Do I want to, you know, as soon as market open tomorrow, do I want to sell it and, you know, try to take like $2,000 profit and then get out and wait for, you know, a better reentry point? Or do I want to hold it closer to the end of the week? You know, so if y'all got an idea on that, let me know. Jump in the comment section. Let me know if y'all if y'all got some information. What do y'all think it'll be at by the end of the week? I'm hoping we get 550 and if we get 550 by the end of the week, you know, and I hold it, that'll be like $5,000. So I'm, I'm really hoping that. So, but uh, yeah, this was crazy. Though. I just happened to end up looking down in my phone and seeing that uh, I checked my uh, portfolio and I seen I was up like $600. I'm like, what? So you see right here, it was up $600. So I opened it up. I came in, I'm looking, I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, okay, I see Tesla shot up and then I see the news that it was just added to the S&P 500. So let's see, uh, let's, let's check out one of these articles.
So Tesla heads into 2021 with new tailwind after S&P 500 inclusion. Bulls are taking a victory lap after the EV auto landed inclusion on the S&P 500 index. We believe the sustained profitability trajectory as evidence in the September quarter was the final straw that got Musk and Co. into the S&P 500 this time around, despite all the noise around tax credit boost on the street, writes analyst Dan Ives. Ives calls the development a clear positive for shares and removes another question mark around the Tesla story going forward. Meanwhile, Barron's estimates nearly $10 billion worth of Tesla stock will need to be purchased by index funds in what could serve as a short-term demand bump for shares. Shares of Tesla are up 13 13.16% in after-hours trading. Earlier, Tesla joined the S&P 500 shares jumped 10%. So yeah, this is big news, man. This is crazy. Shout out to everybody who was in on this trade, man. Congratulations. We all able to make some money. Uh, yeah, this is crazy. I'm going to check back in with y'all tomorrow, show y'all uh, it where I decide to sell it, if I even decide to sell it. I don't know. I might hold it. I don't know. I could just hold it for a little bit. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think I should hold it? Y'all think I should sell it? So uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Salute if you already, uh, you know, rocking with the channel. Make sure your notifications is turned on and be back tomorrow with y'all. A1 game, yo.